Hi guys. It is another dark, dreary, gloomy, cold, depressing, nasty winter day. Here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas, here on Friday, February 23rd, 2018, is a little dog and I get ready to enjoy another day of sitting here in the kitchen. Oh boy, my life. Anyway, <coughs> but since it is Friday, I believe it's February 23rd, 2018, time for my weekly uh, ecological meltdown roundup rant where I simply open my email box to find out how this planet has been heading into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour this week while we've all been riveted uh, on uh, the Olympics and school shootings. And there's one thing missing in my email box that I'm trying not to get too suspicious. I see there is no, I, I did not receive the mongabay.com environmental roundup newsletter from uh, my buddy Rhett Butler. I don't know if I have been uh, removed, uh, whether I've been kicked out of Manga Bay or this is just a glitch in the system. I'm going to try to give Rhett the benefit of the doubt that uh, he doesn't appreciate the hard work that I do every week. Uh, so I just went on MangaBay.com. You just go on MangaBay.com and what you will get is what they condense into the newsletter. So if they read if that was a, uh, a, a slight on Hambone and Humpty Dumpty tried, sorry, I'm going to force my way on. All right, what is on Manga Bay's mind this week? We're going to start with the, the uh, leadoff story. Let me get out the no shit Sherlock button. Brazil's fundamental pesticide law is under attack. Oh shit, Sherlock. Uh, the Bancata Ruralista Agribusiness Lobby. And these guys, good. God, you think uh, the agribusiness lobby is bad in this country? This giant big ag lobby in, uh, in Brazil has completely, completely gotten the uh, president, Michael Tamer, and the Brazilian Congress completely in their pocket. Uh, and what's their latest? So, the agribusiness lobby in Brazil is now pushing for a total deregulation of pesticides with potentially harmful environmental and health impacts. Jesus, this is like uh, the EPA on steroids. Okay, the number two story. <clears throat> Red Clouds Revolution, the Oglala Sioux freeing themselves from fossil fuels. So I absolutely love it. So what they have is a picture of four teepees, probably I guess somewhere in South Dakota maybe, and with all of these solar panels and parked out front is this big old truck. <laughs> They're right, right over uh, the, the part of the headline that says freeing from fossil fuel is, is imposed right over this picture of this giant truck parked outside the uh, teepees being powered by solar panels. I think TPs were powered by, uh, were solar powered for about 15,000 years before Honky got here and uh, they did not need one of these planet eating uh, solar panels to do it. Anyway, 
Uh, third story. I, I'm gonna just just make a note of this story because we're gonna we're gonna end this roundup rant with a with with a second story. So they they were talking about this last week, and I mentioned it. So this is just an update on this story. <clears throat> Moment of truth. A study reveals high percentage of illegal Peruvian timber exports. <clears throat> and uh, so there's this more and more information about how all of this uh, logging down there in Peru uh, doesn't make any difference whether it's legal or illegal. I think there's also a story last week how the Peruvian government uh, on the same day that uh, Pope Francis was there talking about the destruction of the Amazon uh, made this new law making it easier than ever to ram uh, new roads through the middle of the Amazon jungle. Uh, blah, 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 just telling him about how the Peruvian Amazon is so fucked. Uh, so just keep that in mind and we're going to wrap up with another story from the Peruvian Amazon, but uh, and, and guys, just just it, it, and I'm only going to touch on about half of these stories. Uh, wow! <clears throat> Here is let's start out in the shithole country of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, <clears throat> DRC reissues logging concession licenses violating its own logging moratorium. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, here's a story about sea level rise in Bangladesh about how farmers in Bangladesh are fighting climate change. Yes, this is a story of hope. A story of hope, and right after the word hope, they say Bangladesh is extremely vulnerable to climate change and is threatened by rising sea levels, storms and cyclones, floods have become commonplace, with seawater encroaching on both homes and farms, so on and so forth. But this is a story of hope, how Bangladeshi farmers are fighting sea level rise. Then they talk about as I mean this story is actually it made it into my mainstream media economic uh, roundup rant about this um, this this struggle between Indonesia and the European Union over the the European Union is considering tightening controls on palm oil. Uh, the EU, of course, being uh, probably the third biggest market, uh, consumer market for Indonesia and palm oil after the U.S. and China. And uh, Indonesia is absolutely freaking out. Um, and anyway, this is uh, just the latest update on that as we wait to see whether the EU is going to cave or not. What is my prediction on this? Uh, my prediction is the European Union <clears throat> is going to make some statement to, to calm down the little limp dick mainstream media, I mean the little mainstream environmentalist uh, these little greenwashed uh, environmentalists over there in the EU, They're, they are going to make some public statement that they are cracking down on 
palm oil imports into Europe, but uh, the bottom line of that statement is as history will bear out, but we will see. Anyway, let's go from Indonesian rainforest to the Amazon. <clears throat> Drought-driven wildfires on the rise in the Amazon basin upping CO2 releases. Forest fires are no longer driven mainly by deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon as climate change induced drought has become the major driver of these forest fires all over the Amazon jungle. Uh, you know, this guy's is, this goes hand in hand with the story from last year how tropical forests worldwide led by the Amazon, which I consider to be the perhaps the single biggest climate change story that nobody is talking about on this planet, they flipped last year from being what's called a net carbon sink to a net CO2 producer. Um, anyway, we are so fucked. Uh, here is how the Seychelles Islands are going to uh, save the planet by creating these two new marine protected areas. Probably a good thing since the Seychelles Islands, I assume, will be at the bottom of the Indian Ocean in a few years. Um, let's see, I, I, I'm just skipping ahead here, uh, guys, I have a lot to, to do today, yeah, right, <clears throat> here's a home, uh, home. here's a, uh, a new documentary about pygmies, it's our home. Yes, can you imagine the modern world? The modern world is closing in on the pygmies living deep in the Congo rainforest. And there you go, those noble savages, the pygmies. What book was it read was I reading a few years ago about sub-Saharan Africa? Uh, talking about the pygmies leading, you know, being guides to all of these people, uh, big game hunters and everything, and how the pygmies are heavily involved in uh, elephant poaching and the bushmeat trade. And anyway, those uh, noble savages, the pygmies, wow. Modern world is closing in, and I'm sure they're rolling out the red carpet to the modern world. Yes, okay. Here is how technology is saving the planet. Coral reef monitoring takes to the skies as drone-mounted hyperspectral cameras help scientists assess the health of coral reefs. Yes. Uh, I guess World Wildlife Day went right on past me. I don't know. It was February 19th, World Wildlife Day, and I guess so. Uh, this story on World Wildlife Day, looking at how big cats around the world are fucked. Big cats around the world are facing many challenges on World Wildlife Day from diminishing prey populations and habitat degradation to poaching for their meat, skins, and body parts. Let's see, wow, 
imagine this, guys. I never would have thought. Uh, I never would have uh, could have figured this out for myself. Okay. <clears throat> Protected areas. Protected areas with deforestation are more likely to lose their protected status in Brazil. Okay. A recent study finds that when protected parks and reserves don't do a good job, of safeguarding the protected forest they contain, they are more likely to be stripped of their status as protected areas. Oh, shit, wow. Uh, <laughs> there you go. You cannot argue with, with, with that. Uh, anyway, uh, let's move on to Indonesia as Indonesia gears up for elections, activists brace for an environmental sell-off. Yes, uh... Bracing for an environmental sell-off. Oh, Jesus. I've already uh, mentioned this story. <clears throat> Four Indonesian farmers charged in killing of a orangutan that was shot 130 times which of course is right next to the story Borneo ravaged by deforestation loses nearly 150,000 orangutans in 16 years. This is just one of 150,000. Let's go over to the Bahama Islands. <clears throat> Queen Conk dying out in the Bahamas despite Marine reserves. No shit, Sherlock. Yep, yep. You know that. You know what they're talking about. Those big old uh, shells with the pink inside them. Uh, so this is just one more story on how these marine reserves are uh, are doing nothing to protect marine resources. Okay, so I'm actually on page two. So what I really like, I, I, I should show you this, how it's on the, how, how this unfolded on page two. So they still have the, the number three story of the week uh, on, on, on page one and every page talking about um, uh, deforestation in Peru and literally two inches from that story, we have this story. Deforestation in the Peruvian Amazon dropped, dropped 13% in 2017. And for anybody who wants to see what a drop in deforestation looks like, let's see if we can get this picture. So this is a picture, I didn't say where in Peru. So let's look at what a, a drop in deforestation really looks like. So this is a little island of rainforest in a sea of uh, absolute destruction. There you go. Anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap up uh, part one 
part one of this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant and uh, from mongabay.com. It'll be interesting to see whether uh, Rhett has 86 tambone off of <laughs> Manga Bay's uh, mailing list or not. Uh, I will know next week whether that was just a glitch or not. But I'm going to wrap up part one and we're going to come back in a minute. We're going to go over to the Center for Biological Diversity and those good old eco-Nazis at the Washington Post uh, for more evidence of how this planet has been careening into a brick wall at 67,000 miles per hour this week. Coming up in one minute. No, there's, there's one more rant to go. One more rant to go, and then I will let you out to go, to go do some squirrely clearing like that. I need to go get those workings out there. Now one more rant. I can handle it. Oh no.